Hello, welcome to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. You guys, thank you for joining me on this first new moon mini reading. I always have to say mini because people are coming there looking for full readings. This is not a full reading. This is just a reading to try to get you, uh, give you an idea of where to set your intentions as we go into this new moon that's going to be in Aquarius. Now, for the last couple of days, you may have been, you may have been feeling a heaviness that's been in the air. So the air is going to start to lighten. Your mood's going to start to lighten. Um, you are going to be leaving things in the past, okay? Uh, we're moving Taurus, there's going to be a big change because Uranus is actually going to be squaring uh, with this new moon. And we know Uranus is the planet of change, major change, okay? So uh, so anything from the past, anything that was weighing you down, let it go. This is the time to release. Now, if you don't know how to set your intentions, go to our new moon playlist. There you'll be able to find the video that will show you how to set your intentions as you need to set your intentions, especially by this being the very first new moon of 2020. Now, uh, go ahead and fast forward if you don't want to hear the introductions but for those who are joining us for the first time thank you so much and welcome to our channel you guys thank you thank you thank you for all of the comments that you continue to to leave i read every last one of them and it really touches my heart and i want you to know that you really inspire me to continue to keep doing what I'm doing. Now, a little bit about this mini reading. It is not a full reading. It's a mini reading. Again, just to give you the territory that you need to set your intentions. But you can apply this reading to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your Venus sign. Be mindful that the messages will flip-flop, okay? So if it doesn't relate to you, it may relate to your partner. Oh, and hello to our cross watchers out there. Okay, uh, you guys remember to follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot Five Five Five. Remember to subscribe to our channel. Hit the like button, and right next to the like button, there is a little bell. Hit that little bell, and every time I release a reading, you will be notified. Okay. All right. Don't forget we do private readings, and information pertaining to that can be found below. And we do have a Patreon now. Yes, you guys. Mercury retrograde is on its way. It is on its way, and for our patreon members uh for those that are at i can't remember what level it is but you'll be able to get um free uh mercury retrograde survivor readings for all signs okay this has been crucial 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 over the past year and a half that i've done this so you definitely want to be in, in, in place for that okay all right now that is all of our announcements again i love you guys so much now on to your reading Hello, my Pisces. Okay, you guys, let's get right into it. And please, please, please remember this is not a full reading, okay? This is not a full reading. This is a mini reading just to give you an idea of where to set your intentions. So I want to make sure I clarify that because I always get one person to say, the reading was short. It is not a full reading, okay? Just a reading to get you to understand where to set your intentions. If you don't know where to do that, it's under our new moon playlist. All right, so let's just... Get right into it. Holy Spirit, divine creator of the universe. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Pisces as they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on January 24th, 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Pisces? All right. Okay. Spirit, divine creator of the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Pisces as they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on January 24th, 2020. Okay. Okay, Holy Spirit, divine creator of the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Pisces. As they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on January 24th, 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Pisces? Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Pisces? As they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on January 24th, 2020. Okay, those two crossed 
this one. So I'm going to leave those right there. They may have direct relation. They may be in direct relation to that card. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the kind of Pisces as they begin to set their intentions? I'm going to, oh, wow. And that one may be direct relation to this card. So let's just see what's going on here. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So you could be in a space right now where you're experiencing a true love. If you're single, this could be coming in for you. Okay, contemplation time. Spend time alone meditating upon what you truly desire. So this is the time that you really need to be by yourself. Uh, maybe a situation that has occurred with this true love that you really need time to think through. Um, maybe it's not directly relation, relate, related to this true love. Maybe it's just something that you really need to think through. Maybe it's a situation that you need to process right now. So Spirit is saying you really need to take this time to think this thing all the way out. Make a wish. This is a magical moment. Make a wish and enjoy its manifestation. So when you contemplate, when you think about how you want to handle this situation, um, it's Spirit is saying make a wish on what, what is your desire? What is the outcome that you want for this? situation that you're, you're thinking about and shield yourself so the spirit is saying i need you to protect yourself right now you know you need to protect yourself from not making right, the right choices you need to protect yourself from people that you should not be around you need to protect yourself from not thinking and acting and behaving in the right way shield yourself from that during this time and love life okay so um, the basis of your question involves your romantic life, which is now changing for the better. These were actually in this. This says uh, be yourself. The situation calls for you to be your authentic self, which is the basis for your personal power. So these were crossed with the shield yourself. So whatever's happening right now in your love life, spirit is saying you need to be your authentic self. But you need to shield yourself too. Uh, from not bringing in any type of negativity. That's very, very important right now because apparently there's a love life right now and involves, you know, uh, questions that you have. And it's going to change for the better, but it, it again, involves you. I keep feeling like you really don't, do not need any type of negativity around you. You can't participate in any type of negativity. You can't be lying and gossiping. You can't do any of that right now. Okay, because that you need to clear your mind out. You need to get into this space uh, so spirit can really talk to you and guide you to where you need to be. But if you're, you know, if you're not in the right space, if you're not in the right mindset, if you're doing things you shouldn't be doing, you're not going to hear any of it. And you're going to block your, you're going to block your blessing. Look, and this one was over here with helpful people. This cross this true love. So apparently, whatever situation that's going on with this person, there's people around you that are willing to help you. Um, I don't know if somebody's trying to help you in this relationship. Is something going on that you need to think through uh, with this person? But apparently, there are other people that are directly related to the situation that's going on with this true love. Again, that may resonate with different people in different ways, but you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about for those that, you know, this is this is really for, okay? All right, my loves, if you want to do a private reading, information pertaining to that can be found below. Until next time, bye-bye.